my beauties welcome back to the tea room it's time for tea with Tamara so before we get into today's video let me share with you what tea that I'm drinking today so I am drinking the stash premium breakfast in Paris black tea and it has a blend of black teas lavender bergamot extract and vanilla extract in it and it is absolutely delicious it's one of my favorite teas I think I'm the only one in the house that likes it but yay for me because that means more tea for me let me got show you my mug isn't she cute she's so cute okay and let me show you the back side too because it has a little her little saying whatever so as you can see yes that is disgust the disgust character from the pixar movie oh, inside you came out. to the tea room for a reason right okay not just to hear me chatter so today i am going to be doing a first impressions video on this new maybelline super stay better skin foundation and it says it's a skin forming foundation so before I get into the whole application of this because as you can see I'm not wearing anything I do have my eye makeup on but I'm not wearing anything on my face but let me give you a few specs of this foundation before we get into the application so the price point um, I got it for nine dollars and ninety eight cents at Walmart I have seen it online anywhere upwards of I think like almost 12 bucks if I am not mistaken you get 1.0 fluid ounces this particular one has SPF 15 in it although some of the ones online that I have seen because I think it released in the UK before it released here in the States and the UK ones seem to have SPF 20 in it. I don't know if that will make a difference to some of you, but I just thought that you might want to know that. This one is oil free. Okay, so I'm hoping that this will work for my oily girls. I am a combination oily and yeah, we already know what it's like with foundation <laughs> and the oils and summertime. Um, it has a special ingredient called Actyl C, which is a antioxidant, and I am reading off of my notes. It is a more durable form of um, vitamin C that has antioxidants in it that's supposed to help your skin. It, the claims is that it's supposed to give you better looking skin in three weeks. We shall see. It's supposed to reduce the appearance of spots, bumps, dullness, and it also is supposed to brighten the skin and help reduce signs of redness as well as smooth the skin. So the clinker here is you have to give it the three weeks. So this is just a first impression of as I'm putting the foundation on, how do I think it is does it feel good is it medium coverage is it light coverage you're not going to be telling you my overall feeling of the foundation because I want to use it for the three weeks to see if it does any of the things that it claims that it will do so like I said just a first impression on you know a first try if you decide to try this foundation let me know um, what you think about it after your three weeks <laughs> because I want to give it a fair shot um, right off the bat I'm already loving it because it has a pump and all of the other Maybelline foundations, um, the, the Dewy Skin Foundation and the Matte one, it doesn't have a pump. So I'm glad that they put a pump on this one and I'm hoping that it works out great. I have the color 95 Coconut. I chose this one because I was coconut in the Dewy Smooth so I figured I would be coconut in this one. I hope so. So let's jump right into this first impression. I'm gonna be applying this with my Beauty Blender. Um, you can use a brush, you can use your hand, or whatever tool that you choose to use, you can use that um, to apply the foundation. But I'm going to be using a blue beauty blender. So I'm going to zoom you in a little bit here. Okay. Can you see me? All right. So just going to do, um, oh, let me prime the pump here. Okay, so I did two pumps and that looks like way too much, but we shall see. 
So you already know with the Beauty Blender, you need to, ooh, that looks like a perfect match, y'all. Oh my gosh. Make sure your Beauty Blender is damp when you use it. Okay, I let me take this airing out because it's bugging me. OMG. When I say perfect match, I never, ever find a foundation at the drugstore, nonetheless, that is a perfect match to my skin. And oh my gosh. Come down here. I hope you guys can see this. I know my lighting, to me in my viewfinder, my lighting looks a little dark. I'm hoping that by the time I edit and upload this video that it will not be so. But I apologize. I have fluorescent light and I have natural light and this is all the light that I have right now. So, okay. So this is the side, this is one pass, and I can still see a few of my imperfections. Um, I do have seborrheic dermatitis, which causes me to lose pigment. So you can see that I'm darker on the outside than I am right here, which I've, I'm used to that now. I'm not trying to get full coverage. I just like something that's going to kind of help even me out, but I'm not expecting it to be completely perfect. So this is just fine for me. And this is the side without makeup. And you can see my hyperpigmentation as well as my hypopigmentation because I have both of them um, <laughs> here and a few blemishes here and there. So foundation, no foundation, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and do another pump. And I, I used everything for one side of my face. So I guess two pumps will do it for me I would say this is probably a medium coverage um I just can't get over the fact that it is a perfect match for me guys absolutely perfect let me get up on my hairline And I don't know if you guys can tell, but I do feel like it's giving me a matte finish. Um, let me see here. Give me one second. Let me pull out my hand mirror so I can get a closer look. Okay. So for me, this is definitely a medium, medium coverage. Um, for me, this is a ton. Uh, I probably would back down on the amount of pumps that I use. Um, I think I use a little bit too much, but this is probably medium to full coverage. If you want full coverage, you could build it up, but I feel like this might give you cake face. So, cause I feel a little cake face right now and I didn't even lay a primer down you guys. And this is giving me life right now. This is matte. This is all the way matte. This is not even a um, demi matte. This is matte. Like I am scared to put powder on. This is matte. Can I stress that enough? It's matte. <laughs> so for all of you oily skin girls who don't want your oils to come through now, I don't know how long it's going to last. We shall see because what I'm going to do is I am going to put on my blush, 
what I'll do is, this is what I'll do. I will put powder on one side and no powder on the other side. So I will put powder on the left side of my face and no powder on the right side of my face. And then I will come back in and check with you after a few hours to see what this is doing. But so far, I'm liking it. I'm curious to see what it will do with powder on it. The powder that I'm gonna be using is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Powder. So we already have matte, but then we're gonna be even matter. <laughs> um, we shall see, but I will go ahead and do that to the left side of my face. And then I will come back and let you guys know you know, if I'm liking it, if I'm not liking it, if I got cake face or not. Okay, beauty, so I'm back with an update. It is, I think, close to two o'clock. I probably should have checked that, but if my memory serves me correctly, it is close to two o'clock in the afternoon. I applied my foundation around 9.45 this morning so I wanted to give you guys an update on what it's doing on my face. So far, I think overall it looks good. I am oily in my T-zone and I did have to blot like two hours after applying the foundation. I did have to blot my T-zone. Now keep in mind, I have extremely oily skin and I'm probably oilier than the oiliest people out there. So if you have oily skin, I might be oilier than you due to my seborrheic dermatitis. I have an overproduction of oil. So I will always have to blot sooner than the oiliest of oilies um, because I'm always constantly producing oil. So that's something that I have to deal with and it doesn't matter what primer I use or anything like that. So do keep that in mind. So for me, two hours without having to blot is good. I'm gonna zoom you guys in so you can see up close what it looks like. Okay, so as you can see, the nose is shiny. I've got some oil right in here, but the cheeks are okay. A little bit of oil on the chin. I hope you guys can see this. And my forehead is shiny. So I'm gonna zoom you back out. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and take my oil blotting paper and I'm gonna blot and soak up some of this oil. disgusting. I always get grossed out when I look at my oil sheet because I just can't believe that it is possible to produce that much oil, but I do. And I'm just using the Target brand Up and Up oil blotting sheets, which I think they are the same as the um, Clean and Clear. So I'm just using these. And I always do too, just to make sure that I am getting oil, all of that oil off of my skin. But yeah, so far, I like this foundation so far. Um, I do think there's a little bit of oxidation. I'm gonna zoom you back in. Okay, so now that I have soaked up a good bit of the oil, you can see that I'm pretty matte. And I hope that this is coming across on camera. But um, I do think that I oxidized just a little bit. I went outside for a quick minute, y'all, just to snap a couple of photos to post on IG and it's hot outside. So I probably, mm, I don't know that I would wear this one outside because 
it just depends. I would have to really prime continue the skin. to wear it throughout the day, and I'm gonna try to come back one more time for you guys to give you an update um, after you know a good eight hours. But so far, I don't feel like it's breaking up anywhere. I feel like it's still cohesive, and like I said in the beginning, it is a matte finish so if you have any peeling I have a little bit of peeling and I can see that it does cling to the peeling so you want to make sure you exfoliate your face very well um, if you have any skin peeling or anything like that but so far I'm liking it I, I don't feel like it's breaking up on me or anything like that just my oils coming through but that's just me so if you have normal um, skin then this might be a great foundation for you okay so i'm gonna try to come back one more time for you guys i'll see you a little bit later bye hi my beauty so it is now 5 24 okay and i put this foundation on at about 9 45 this morning so i wanted to come back with you um to you with my final end of the day thoughts on the Maybelline Super Stay Better Skin Foundation. Okay, so let me zoom you guys in real quick. Sorry for that. My nose is itching me. Anyway, let me zoom you guys. Zoom. Oh, I'm tired. Let me zoom you guys in so you can get a closer look at the foundation and see what it looks like. Okay, so there's my forehead. A little bit shiny. Here's my nose and my cheeks. And I'll zoom out. Okay, is that better? So as you can see, yeah, the oil is still there. It's not too, too bad because I did blot twice. So I have not blotted yet and I'm not going to because I'm gonna get ready to take this off. But as you can see, I don't feel like the foundation has broken down on my skin like let me pull my mirror out I mean a little bit on the nose area where I blotted before and maybe a little bit on the chin but for the most part I would say that it's pretty much intact the only areas that I see where the foundation has really broken down and I use that term loosely because it's still pretty much intact if I put powder on my face you probably wouldn't even know that the foundation has worn off a little bit it's just through my t-zone but the rest of my face looks amazing I hugged my husband in his white t-shirt just to see if it would transfer. I know, right? You're like, oh my God, you messed up your husband's shirt. Trust me, it's an old one. Um, but I wanted to see if it would transfer because, you know, sometimes us ladies, when we go in and we hug our men or we hug somebody wearing white, the foundation will transfer and you messed up somebody's clothes. I didn't see that much transfer. Of course, you always want to be careful when you are... Um, when you are hugging people and you have makeup on, be mindful that you don't rub off onto their clothes because that's, you know, they, that's just impolite. Um, sometimes it can't be avoided, but I'm just saying. I didn't notice any transfer. When I picked up my phone and I'm on my phone, I didn't get much transfer on the sides of my phone. And I usually do with the um, Maybelline Dewy Smooth and the Maybelline Matte um, Formula, the other one. I usually get transfer that transfers a lot um, but I didn't get any of that today with this foundation now I will tell you that this is a super super thick foundation so you really need to use a very light hand with this it is a medium coverage if you want to build it up I would not suggest you building it up past two layers I if you remember in the video I did two layers I wouldn't do more than that or else you will have cake face unless you like the cake face look I would tell you to use a very light hand with this I would also say 
that keep in mind that it does have SPF in it. So I put it on my daughter and she had a little bit of a grayish cast on her um, and she's slightly darker than me but the colors looked fine on her but there was a little bit of a cast and I remembered that it has SPF in it and that can sometimes give you a cast. I did notice that the foundation does oxidize a little bit and I've been looking at myself all day and I feel as though initially I was a little reddish. I do think that there's a lot of red in this foundation so if you don't have red undertones or what am I trying to say if oxidation bothers you this might bother you. Um, I don't feel like it was heavy on my skin. I I don't feel like I have a layer of makeup on I just feel like I have regular makeup on so and usually by the end of the day I'm ready to take my makeup off I don't know about you guys but usually by the end of the day I feel a little grimy and I just want it all off but I don't have that caked on feeling to my skin and my skin doesn't feel greasy or anything like that there's really no transfer onto my fingertips when I touch my face. Of course, I didn't have my hands in my face all day, but um, yeah, I think that this is an okay foundation. I'm going to give it the three weeks. I'm going to play with it and see if any of the, if I notice any of the claims from the foundation in terms of it improving dark spots and redness and improving the look of my skin. If you have super oily skin, I would advise that you go ahead and use a primer. That is with it. Um, if you have any other questions in, re in regards to this foundation, just Leave them in the comment section below or hit me up on Instagram and I will get back with you with an answer. Thanks so much for hanging out in the tea room. You know what I'm going to tell you. Stay sweet, stay beautiful, and remember, there's always time for tea. I love you for watching. Bye-bye.